Hello everyone, welcome to Savan Semi. Today I am going to show you something powerful for IoT and embedded applications that combines 4G connectivity with one inbuilt microcontroller. That is the EC200U 4G LTU module with inbuilt STM32 microcontroller. So you are going to know the product overview, features and specification, pinout, ST-Link debugger, testing GSM with stm 32 Cube by IDE software. So let's get started. This modem was designed and developed by 7Semi is an all-in-one IoT board that combines Quiktel EC200U 4G LTE CAT1 module with an onboard STM32 microcontroller, all in in a single compact design. It supports 4G LTE connectivity, GNSS for precise positioning and provide powerful processing through the STM32. This smart modem ensures reliable and high-speed connectivity accurate GPS capability while integrating seamless with STM32 CubeID platform for flexible development. It is a perfect choice for IoT applications such as location tracking, remote monitoring, automation and much more smart solution. These modems have one USB-C support to easy connection with your system. It have nano SIM slot to insert the SIM. It have one external MCU reset switch. It support one quick connector for I2C interface and also support the battery connection slot to connect external battery. It have three IPEX antenna slot. One is for main antenna slot. One is for GNSS antenna slot. Another one is a diversity antenna slot to improve the signal. This module have four indication LEDs. This is a power LED. It lights up when this modem successfully powered on. STA means status LED, it shows the SIM status. It have two network LED, lights up when it registers with the network and shows the operational status. It operates in constant 5V DC. The temperature range is minus 40 degrees Celsius to plus 80 degrees Celsius. It have GNSS and GSM support maximum 1800 MHz. It have STM32 G070KBT6 onboard microcontroller, support 32KB flash memory and 64MHz clock speed. It have separate MCU pinouts and EC200U modem pinouts. MCU pin have 4 GPIO channels of port A, B, C and D of 12-bit ADC as it supports the protocols like 2i2c, 2spi and 4 UART communications. Also you can use alternate functions like timers and PWM. It have separate EC200U modem pinouts. You can connect the external speaker and mic. Also support the separate power supply and UART pins. This EC200U modem and the MCU are connected internally in the GPIO of PB6 and PB7. So no need to make external connection. To program this modem with STM32 CubeID software, we need ST-Link V2 debugger programmer. It allows you to upload the firmware, debug code and program the flash memory directly from the tool. It have USB-C connectivity to ensure compatibility with the modern devices. Also have separate pinout for interface. I am using jumper wire for connection. So I am soldering this module with mail adder pins. Connect the ST-Link 3v3 pin to module 3.3V pin. Connect the serial wire clock pin in ST-Link to MCU serial wire clock pin. Connect ground pin to ground. Connect the serial wire I-O pin to MCU serial wire I-O pins. Connect the ST-Link reset pin to MCU reset pin. And now insert the nano SIM card to SIM slot. 
and connect the network antenna in the main antenna slot. And now take a Type-C cable and connect the ST Link V2 to your system. Next, open the HTM32 Cube ID software. Go to Files, click New, and select the HTM32 project. See here, we need to open the target selection. From this commercial part number, we want to enter the MCU part number. Enter HTM32 G0 70KBT6. See here, it will show the G series HTM32 MCU. Select this and click Next. Enter any file name and click finish. In this .ioc file, in pin configuration, go to connectivity and select USRT1. From this, we want to select the mode. Go to mode and select asynchronous. See, this is a microcontroller architecture. Here, it select the default PA10 and PA9 as a keyword function. For our module, PB6, PB7 as the internally connected to the EC200U module. Click the PB6 pin and select the USART1TX. And click the PB7 pin and select the USART-RX. Now, this two pin works as the keyword function. Next, go to Project, click Generate Code. In the Project Explorer, go to the Core and go to the SRC file and open this main.c. Here, we want to write the program for our requirement. This is the program I am going to use to test the GSM. First, I declare the header file that is hash include string.h for string handling. At second, I use the studio.h for input and output function. In the loop part, see here, here we want to enter the receiver mobile number. So, I created a smart variable to store this receiver mobile number. In the main loop part, first the basic AT command is entered as a string and the command has transferred and a receiver based on this hall library function. Next, I entered AT plus CMGF equal to 1. This is the command to start in the text mode. At the same, the hall library function has been started to transmit and receive. After few second delay, again, I use the AT command AT plus CMGF equal to 1. This is the command to send the response to the receiver mobile number. And the same all library UART function has been declared. After a few seconds, we want to give some text here. See here, I entered hello world stm32 started. This is the text I entered here. And the same UART all library function has been entered. Before uploading this program, we want to debug this. Click this debug icon. See in the console, it will print the response. See here, it printing zero errors and zero warnings. To flash this program, click this run icon. See in the console, it starts flashing the program. After the program has successfully uploaded, press the reset switch in the modem. This is the receiver mobile. See the message has been sent through the GSM. See again it's sending the message. Now I am again pressing this reset switch. See here after a few seconds again it starts sending the message. This is a way of testing the GSM by using this model. If you want to buy this product, go to the 7 semi website. We specialized in developing microcontrollers, sensor, breakout boards, advanced GPS GSM modules and much more. If you are looking for any components that match your requirements, please place your order in the website. Check the website link in the video description. If you want to learn more, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching.